Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. On April 11, 2015, we held the gubernatorial elections in River States. Um, River States was a hot spot for a hot flash for um, violence. What do you have to say about the post election violence at our court? Um, first of all, I disagree with the fact that uh, River State was a flash for it, uh, flashpoint for violence. Take, for example, I know that uh, the time the CP election called me that they got the report that four or five people died in Obobo Mandone one week to the election. But I was also watching the same video, APC showing that, look, oh, these were people who were here during the election. Well, you do acknowledge that some people lost their lives due to election violence. Before the election or during the election? During and post-election. I have not seen now, there have not seen any report that people lost their lives during the election. I, have not seen. I do know that prior to election, like a week to election, there are some problems in some local government, particularly in the uh, Obwe and the local government, and that had to do with court-related matters. And I'm glad you're talking about the cult and the violence in Rivers. So now some of the elected officials that will make up your State House of Assembly, upon your assumption, are ex-militants Ferrara Dagogo, Adoki Tonya Smart, and Chisum Promise DK, to mention a few. So do you have any fears whatsoever of this having a negative impact? This, again, I don't agree. What do you mean by militants? What do we call ex-militants? That's not just stopping me. I said, look, Nigeria as it is today, I'm not happy with the way Nigeria is. There is injustice in Nigeria. There is marginalization against my people. Therefore, I will carry arms to make sure that I liberate my people. So do you believe citizens should take the laws into their own hands? No, no, no. Like, it, no, no. It is not taking the laws into their own hands. According to them, they feel that the only way they will be listened to is when they blockade economic activities because it will affect the economy of this country. And they did that. 